All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Check it out. One of the things that I do here on the channel is that I answer some of you guys' questions. So if you guys got questions, put it in the comment section below, and eventually I will answer that question if I think it brings value into the community. If not, you know, I'm always in the comments and talking to some of you guys. But I was talking about fully automatic AR-15s because something that I posted on the B channel, if you haven't subscribed to the second channel, it's going to be linked down below. And I was talking about this kid that decided to, you know, modify his AR-15 to be automatic. And obviously he got in trouble and he got arrested for that. But one of you guys saw a oh, tree bear said jar is six. I would love to see a video about advantages of semi-automatic over automatic from your, you know, from my opinion, essentially. So here's the thing. I wanted to talk about this because the whole YouTube operator mentality and essentially what i when i come here i've been here for over five years here in the community there's a lot of guys that are making a lot of money and there's a lot of guys that you know have great videos and all that but a lot of the things that they teach or they talk about is things that to me never made sense in the military or to me i never saw that in the military and i went to iraq and afghanistan right i did took a lot of training i saw combat so it wasn't like I was sitting in a little base getting fat, right? I did that when I became a civilian. But again, you know, a lot of the things that they say to me is kind of like that makes no sense. So a lot of times here on YouTube, you see the cool factor and you think that because it's cool, uh, it's going to work. And a lot of guys like to shoot uh, automatic weapons and things like that. But automatic weapons, in my opinion, is just not the best choice for self defense and again you know nothing against automatic weapons obviously they are a lot of fun to shoot and i had a blast shooting things like the 240 golf the mark 19 is the 50 cows and things like that it was just fantastic and a blast but automatic weapons are primarily used to suppress a target so essentially when you want to bring hell into a target that's what they use automatic weapons for you know when you want to completely destroy something that's when you typically use automatic weapons. But again, they are so difficult to control, right? So a lot of times they will be suppressing a target while an infantry group is approaching that target. So essentially the enemy got to put the heads down because the infantry is coming and they're about to take care of business, right? God bless our infantry boys. They do a fantastic job and we, you know, we love our troops, right? But again, you know, automatic weapons is just not something that you want to use for self-defense because they're just difficult to control right and again the other thing about this is that you have to carry you know in real combat operations or in real operations survival something like that so now you guys are preparing for zombies you will have to carry that ammunition so if you waste 45 rounds in less than two seconds where do you think those rounds are coming from they're coming from you your body and ammo waste a lot i used to carry about 15 magazines at one point and i gotta tell you i had like eight across my body i had like one in my gun that was like nine i had a few in my patrol pack i mean that thing got really heavy you know when we had the m249 uh, i used to have one in 2004 um I mean, those bandoliers, they were like 200 rounds a piece. Those bandoliers were heavy, really, really heavy. But again, you know, that firearms is utilized for a different purpose. So when it comes to your self-defense situation, you want to have a semi-automatic because a semi-automatic allows you to control your rate of fire better. You know, automatics, they don't. You press the trigger and here we go. And your rate of fire cannot be controlled as you can be controlling your semi-automatic. Now, you got to think about this. In real life situations like here, you're responsible for every round that you shoot. Every single one. So you could potentially hit a person that you don't want to hit. And that's just a bad deal, right? First of all, you're going to go to jail. But second of all, you don't want to kill somebody that is an innocent person. It's just going to hunt you 
all your life. You want to be able to control those rounds and you want to be able to put rounds on target if that person is doing something bad to you, right? Daily force is justified. You want to be able to control your rate of fire to make sure that not only you are protected, but all the people are protected. Once you start shooting rounds, you are responsible for those rounds, but at the same time, you're putting other people at risk. Now, this bad guy is doing something to you you start shooting a bunch of rounds, you're actually putting people's life at risk. So by controlling your rate of fire with a semi-automatic uh, firearm, you could do that more effectively. So here's the deal, guys. I think automatic guns are fantastic. They're just fun. They have You have a blast shooting thing. I think it's for a purpose. I don't think it's for your regular purpose as, as you know, self-defense or anything like that. Uh, I really don't think it's going to work. I think it's more of a suppressing a target or, you know, when something really bad happened, more like combat operations, you know, shooting a, a, at a tank or something crazy like that. Uh, I mean, automatic weapons are proving to be good. If you have a squad of enemy 12 people inside a house and you know for a fact that those 12 people are there and, and they trying to kill you, obviously the military use automatic weapon to bring hell into then but for the basic civilian or for even military guys like myself when we went to combat even though we had a burst three round burst we never used that never i don't i can't i think in maybe so many years we shot it once or twice just for fun kind of thing but really there was no class that i took or anything like that with a tissue to just waste your ammo because again you want to be very precise with your ammunition not only your ammunition not wasting your ammo but also you want to be able to hit what you're aiming for because you want to control that rate of fire so you don't hurt other people so automatic guns i mean operators here on youtube making it look cool but in all reality their purpose is, is really not there like i say you know many many deployments we never use automatic guns uh when it came from like person to person kind of thing usually the the automatic guns were used for a different purpose uh not really for one-on-one -on -one kind of contact so again i appreciate your question brother stay tuned we got more videos coming up if you guys got questions put it down in the comment section below and as always god is in control